Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Optimized Hardcore series. Today we'll be getting more iron. Because this 7 iron is all the iron we have. We have no more iron. <laughs> so, we're going to be making an iron farm today. I've already gone and trapped a zombie. Um, and... Now, and I've already uh, dug out a hole on stream. Now, one of my rules for this series is that everything must be kind of built into something. It can't be just a farm floating out there, if it can be helped. Um, and this is, this is going to be a, an example of that. Because in the mines is where we're going to be building the iron farm. I've already dug out this hole for it. If we need to dig out more space, that's fine. But I think this should be good. Now, we're not just going to be using the iron farm for iron, but that will come later, especially once I've built, like, the walls around the village more. So, the first thing that we're going to need to do is uh, get a cauldron to put this zombie in. And while I could use the seven iron that I have now misplaced, this seven iron to do that, I would prefer to do some little, a little bit of robbery instead. So, we are going to instead steal it from the village that we found last time. I noticed last time that we were here that they had a leather worker and I think uh, three cauldrons. So, we're going to go ahead and take one. Um, Iron Golem, please don't question why I'm here. It doesn't concern you. That's a ship. That's a uh, sunken ship over there. I need to go check that out. Is this the house? No. Ow, my ankles. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> I ran right past it. And there we have the cauldron. And we still have time to go over there and check out this ship. Although I should really eat first. I just turned down player sound, so hopefully next time I eat, it won't be nearly as loud. I'm still trying to figure out all the sound levels. And as I've said at the end of the past two videos, um, please, if you have any suggestions for what I can do to make things better, let me know. Um, I want to know what settings I need to change, uh, what I need to do, and all that. Okay. A diamond? I swim out of here. Whew. Okay. We got our first diamond and emerald. Nice. I really haven't been mining properly. Is that another? I think that's another boat. But let's go ahead and finish exploring this one. I don't think there is anything else to grab, though. Oh, there is. Nothing worthwhile, however. Oh, buried map. It appears I'm a little ways off from that. So maybe I'll leave it alone for now. Or that could be at the beach. Is this north? Yeah. I bet that's over there in that beach. I think I'll go over there. I just want to make sure I'm still near that village so I can sleep. Wait, I have a bed over there. Yeah, okay. So this should be the beach. Let's see. Where is it going to be? Is it going to be that one like lifted up block there in the water? Okay, uh, you? Oh, here. Here, here, okay. Should be right around. Might have to tap here. Sure, no, I'm just I saw a trick on Twitter the other day where as soon as you can see the stars is when you can go to bed. Oh, I forgot about that creeper. That... That's extremely horrifying. So I want to test that. Although I know I could already go to bed as is. Now I can see the stars. So I think my previous way of getting to bed was a little bit faster. 
It should be right along here. Wait, yeah, what's here? Found it, okay. That's some pretty good stuff. I like all of the emeralds that we got. That'll be helpful. <laughs> that, that creeper is horrifying, though. Okay, well, let's go on and um, head on back. Let me break the chest. Or put it... Not put the thing inside. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on back, and we can... We can um, go ahead and make this iron farm. Now, the problem with this wall being here is now it's difficult for me to get in. <laughs> uh, but that'll be fine. We'll, we, we can get in. It just had to come over here. Right. Also, speaking of streaming, um, I've decided to move back to Twitch for streaming for now. Just because the community that I, I like is there. And really, it's, it's about being able to interact with people better i over there i can send my viewers their way they can send viewers my way and then also it's just and it's just easier um to make connections on twitch than it is on youtube anyway let's go ahead and get started with this farm i just realized we got 16 iron from that plus with the seven we had so we can make more rails, which is actually what I'm going to be doing, so I don't have to continuously break and place rails. So, we'll be fine, because we'll have plenty of iron soon, it's just, that's going to be, make it so much easier in the short term. It seems like even then, um, I will not have enough iron to make it go all the way there, because I crafted 16 more, and I only have 5 iron now. <laughs> so... I think we desperately need this farm up and running. And now we get to see me move it. Move this zombie along the path. If I use this five iron, I won't have any extra iron. But I can make another minecart. And there is a point to this. Okay, now we won't have to beat up our shield. We can use this furnace minecart and get the zombie moving. It seems even without the furnace minecart, just the fact that the rails uh, went downhill a little bit were enough. Ow. So we can get this the rest of the way out with only like one piece of coal. In fact, I'm gonna need to block up that so that way it doesn't go too far. And ow. Again. Okay. Place that there. Maybe even a stick will do. Eh. Seems pushing the, the furnace minecart did enough. Oh, I didn't waste any fuel. That's fine. And down it goes. Okay. Time to go down there myself and retrieve my, or to and get it positioned rather. So I just realized I had this closed. Um, that's why I was able to pass through easily, but I was scared for a second that he was not there. As for where we're putting him, I was thinking about putting him up there. Let me just do a quick little water test. Okay, yes, putting them here would allow me to put water streams all around the corners and have them flow down into here where I can kill them or do whatever I want with the iron golems. So now we're going to go ahead and start the process of getting them in place. I'm not expecting this to be particularly easy. Um, in fact, I have this boat for a reason. Um, and that is so that way when he hits me, 
I don't die. <laughs> Hopefully, we will not need it. Okay. And then we can just go back here and stuff like that. There we go. And I will probably go ahead and flood this room a little bit. So that way he has somewhere where he can land and that'll be safe. Okay. And hit that. And now he's stuck. <laughs> it's really that simple. We now cannot get out, and I am going to be able to block off the side, so that way when I'm moving the villagers in, he will not be able to get out. So, let me go ahead and get this all cleaned up. And we can uh, come back in a second. Turns out I was barely off by the size this room needed to be, so I had to push this back a little bit, but it should be okay. I'm gonna just make this into a block that I'll recognize in the future. And place this here. But here's where the beds will go and it'll all be okay later. As far as materials go, I think the only thing I still need now is some carpet, which I can very easily get. So I'm gonna go ahead and shear these sheep. Right, give me an even number. Yay, we got an even number. It just had to take all four sheep. And I only need three carpets. But I will need the rest of this wool for the beds. So after these sheep regain their wool, then I will have all the materials I need. And I will move some villagers into the farm. I'll probably only start with three for now. And I'll probably also do that on the stream. But I'll go ahead and get it built before we cut to... Um, after I stream the amount of times I've gotten hurt just walking down those those stairs because I impatient is too high <laughs> Okay, as you can see I've already Dug out this side as well, and we can place that there then bed 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 and then I should probably build a block to stand on and then we need to go ahead and put slabs here. With a, another slab, not another slab, with a carpet on this block. And that will be that complete. I will go ahead and put a torch in there as well. And that is that side done. Um, that will take care of, as soon as I get the villagers in, that is. As for this side, it's pretty much just repeating what we did over there. And falling off a couple of times. Although I will actually be taking this water here and making an infinite source. Because we'll be needing one later anyway. And now that we have our water, I can go ahead and place that there, get that, and place our half slabs. And our uh, carpet on top. But because of how I've done this, what I'll need to do is make separate paths to the beds. Um, so that the villagers can easily get into them. Yeah, which I will probably do on stream as well. So I have gone ahead and streamed and I went ahead and put all six villagers in the farm and got that completely done. Uh, and we can go ahead and check out how much iron I produced. Also, I've sealed up that hole over there. Um, I decided to put in all six villagers because uh, it was just easier to do it before having iron golems spawning and uh, this is just this is how it looks this is how it turned out um, I tried to put nitwits in there because there, I had like two in the village as far as I know and here is how much iron we've produced since so we've gotten a good bit 
already. Um, the iron in my inventory was also from this farm, but that was before it was actually like set up properly. And it just flows down from there into this hopper and into that chest. So, you got a little bit of storage, not a ton, but a little bit. It'll do for now. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show off what else I did on the stream. I didn't stream for too long. I, I My throat was kind of going around out, and so I had to cut the stream short. But I was still able to stream for an hour and a half, and that took about an hour, I think. Um, maybe even a little bit shorter. And then I dug out uh, these two spaces for wheat. Ooh, sorry about the lag there, if that showed up. Um, and then after stream, I dug out this area as well. We're gonna need a lot of wheat for uh, some projects in the next episode. Something else we're gonna need to do before that is we're going to need to go ahead and set these villagers free. I think the village is secure. I'm gonna keep a couple still captive. I want to go ahead and set as many as we can free now. Just to get some life back into the village. Thinking about it, it might actually only be one villager being set free. Nope, there's another one. Okay, cool. Go ahead and set you free. Um, I think that house still has one. This has two in it. I want to keep those two in there. But I'll set this one free. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure that this is down. Okay, good. And check in here. How many villagers? Two. Okay, these two can be free as well. The main thing is I just want um, two backup villagers, pretty much. Okay. You are, does there a compass in there? Sure. Um, and let me, there, I know there's a villager down there as well, but I'm gonna leave him be. And I think, I think that's all the villagers. They should all be free now. Uh, hopefully they're safe. Hopefully I made the village safe enough. But if not, we have this iron golem. And we do have some other plans for these golems. Um, which I'm looking forward to. It's not just going to be killing them for iron. I actually would like to, if possible, I would like to get give them some jobs around the village. I'm just running down here to make sure this is close so that villagers don't go in there. I think I think everywhere is safe unless the villager is dumb and walks off the side. The reason we need all that wheat, though, is the same reason why next village, the next episode we're going to set up a cleric villager, and it's because we need redstone. Uh, not redstone. We need to make an auto mud farm. Um, I want to make a lot of packed mud for the paths here, and we're going to need some redstone for that. Hence the the cleric that I mentioned. So next episode should be the beginning of the infrastructure of the village. Anyway, I think actually there is one last thing for us to do this episode. And I realized it after I stopped recording last time. With this gold, we can finally make ourselves gold pants. And with this, we have three pieces of armor. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, please, you know, do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, whatever, uh, share with friends. And if you think there could be improvement, like I said earlier in the video, let me know what I can do. Um, I'm trying out this new microphone during this video and hopefully it all comes out okay. But I know I still have things to adjust. So anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.